Good morning, it's road trip time. This is my first stop. The motorway is just over there. The old M5. It's eight degrees centigrade. I got three layers on today. The clouds are marching past. Yeah, north to south. So it's gonna be bitterly cold today. So uh, let's do the rest of the trip, get there and um, See if we can actually play some decent golf. I played Sunday. I hit one fairway. I hit the fifth fairway from the fourth tee box. That's the only fairway I hit. So um, I'm gonna get on the range and um, see if I can put a stick in plaster on this god awful swing. See you when we get there. Well then, we're here, Woodside Golf Club. Nine holes, two sets of tees, so you go around twice and it's different on the second time around. My playing partner is here, but he's forgotten. He's already on the golf course somewhere. So I'm going around on my own. We're on temporary tees, so uh, the real tee is back here somewhere. No winter rules today. And uh, we're starting with a, a short par five. Don't like the look of this weather, it might rain. Right then, second hole. I got 145 to a front flag. And I've hit this a little bit left. And looking at my setup, I've hit it where I'm aiming, basically. Looks my, like my shoulders are a fraction open. Just hit a little upslope short of the green. So it never got on. But that's rather tidy. No real need to beef the driver up here. Plus I've been having some pulls with the fairway wood, so I'm here to practice those as well. But that was perfect, right down the middle. Just a 9-9 in, I'm going straight at this flag, although my setup is left again, isn't it? Oh well, we'll fix that. Although you can't fix a fat. Well, I fatted it into the bunker. But the sand looks good. And since leaving Tewkesbury Park, I've noticed I can actually play bunker shots. This one just happened to run out because the greens are a bit firm. We haven't had rain for a month, so... They're all kind of like bouncing on a bit. And I think Geoffrey Archer is a better read than that putt. Short par four, out of bounds all the way down the left. Water to the right, a ditch to get over. Then more water to the right. So if you're gonna test your driving, this is the hole to do it on.
Well, by avoiding all the water down the uh, right-hand side there, I put myself right behind the eight ball. And uh, I'm not even going to attempt to go over this bunker to this tight flag. I'm just going to play short right and try and get me poor. Sure, all right. doesn't quite show it here but there is a tree that is 234 yards off the tee box I zapped it with a laser so I'm gonna duck underneath it with the three wood absolutely no point in hitting driver here right well past the tree no need to risk the driver there I got 82 to a front flag could try the sand wedge but there's a little upslope which would kill it if I come up short so I'm going with a 50 degree and I'm going to have to chop this up and take some yards off. Landed where I wanted to, but it's uh, ran on a bit. I bought myself a new driver at long last last year's model because it was a hundred quid off all right the, the, the one off the first I didn't know what I was gonna get I didn't have my rhythm and it was a bit crap but the last two have been stonking let's see how far that's gone Well, 
Well, I've hit this right down the banner. But it's just gone on again. The greens are quite firm. Ah, oh, that putt took a, an enormous jump. So, I am miles short. Phew. Well, we're getting to the end of part one. Join me for part two when I go round again. But don't think, oh, I've seen it, I won't bother with the second video. Because in the second video, the tees are different. The yardages are different. The pars are different. Yeah, some of the par threes turn into fours, and one of the fours turns into a fives, and one of the fives turns into a four. And on this ninth hole, not only does the par change, but the green changes. They got two greens down here. Now, I don't know what the line is. But I think I gotta go over that. It's a big dog leg to the left. Or I could just, I could zap the trees down here somewhere and try and figure out what iron to take off the tee. But you haven't come here to uh, hit irons, have you? Yeah, on that number seven, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go over the top here. Bollocks to it, let's do it. Now that's what you call a bailout, isn't it? I hit that five wood really well, just the wrong direction. I left myself 197, fly a lie out of the rough, so four iron and see if we can make it jump.